Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Radiata Stories. I am your host, DKS3A. In the last episode, we made it to Goblin Haven, and after all was said and done, we met Gawain, Gans's father, who which, who Jack accused of killing uh, his father, Cairn. And after a fierce battle with Gawain, we find out the real story of um, of uh, Cairn, uh, Jack's father. And Gawain actually, you know, I mean, didn't really, didn't kill him. It was actually Algandar's disease. And then Gawain eventually joins our party. We make it back to Fort Helencia. We had to fight our old squad mates, Jarvis and Daniel, who says that now we are, since we joined the non-humans, we are now traitors and felons of Radiata. So we're going to take a look around a little bit and see what we can find for our next, uh, for our next, uh, missions and stuff. What we gotta do here is talk to this guy. Oh. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. We need to go to the Fort Helencia entrance right here, I believe. Talk to him. This is our next, this is our next destination. So, You're not human. Yeah, what about it? Um, do you think it's really bad for humans and self elves to associate? No, I don't think that. Why do you ask? Lord Zane despises humans. I know where he's coming from. In the ancient time, a woman, 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 Blah, blah, blah. As a result, Agandarth was born. The plague is fatal to elves. Lord Zane's brother, Lord Rivera, became a victim. But I like the things that you humans write. I like everything about you, really. That's why, why I need your help. For what? Agandarth's castle, a cursed castle, was residence of the ancient king. If we went there, we might find a way to lift the curse from humans and elves. That's what I believe. So you want me to help you explore the castle? Okay, let's do it. A castle that's been sealed for centuries. I hope we find some useful clues. We need to find a way for elves and humans to coexist. So we get to go to Algandar's castle and see if we can find the source of the Algandar's uh, curse. And we got our party here, Jack, Romeria, Ridley, and Mikey, and let's head on out to Romeria, uh, to uh, Algandar's castle. Not that long of a trip, but it is a little bit of a trip to it. I'm grateful we decided with this non-human, so are you sure you made the right choice? Yes. There's no booze here. Boys, hey. blah, blah, blah. Let's go find some. Blah, blah, blah. Let's try Gil again. Sure. Hello there. Because if we can get Gil, he'll probably be better for this mission. But, uh, good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't work out too well, actually. So, we're not even going to try Gil right now. I'm going to try one more time. But, uh, I'm going to heal up and I'm going to change my weapon. Let's try a different weapon. Let's try instead of Leviathan. Let's try this. Uh, Gloriax. Oh. Alright. Hello there. Hello there. We're going to go back in and go out and try Gil one more time. If that doesn't work, then we'll just. Uh, Continue on to Algadar's castle. Which isn't that long of a trip. It's just going to be... It's not a long trip, so let's see. Alright, we need to save and head back in to... Uh, save and make to the next day before we can fight Gil again. So let's try this again. Let's head... Save. And let's uh, get some sleep. No, let's get some sleep. Go to the next day and we'll try Gil again. If this doesn't work, we'll just move on to Algadar's castle. I got a more powerful weapon on me now, so maybe this will work, the Glory Axe. So, let's get some sleep. And we'll wake up and go try Algandar's Castle. Alright. So let's go see if we can go fight Gilligan. If not, then we'll just head to Galagular's castle and start this next mission. Alright, here we go. It's a nice, nice bright new day, so let's go try Gil. And if this doesn't work, like I said, we'll just head on to Algadar's castle and see what we need to do to, uh, what do you have to say? Since I'm guarding a good place, I might as well keep training. We can't afford to, I think I know how to, how to recruit him. Let's just do this real quick. Put the recruitment suit on. I wonder when the humans will attack. Will it be today? 
Okay, it's not him, okay. So we'll just put back on the uh, iron plate and let's go. We'll try Gil one more time, see if we can recruit him, because we can recruit Gil. It'll be a nice, nice, nice addition for, uh, for Al Gadar's castle, but if not, then it was worth a shot. Sure, let's try him again. Now that I have a more powerful weapon, we may have a chance, so. And the only bad thing about Gil is too, I mean, him too, is that he does freeze a lot. So, I mean, we're gonna have to be careful. And do a lot, a lot, a lot of healing. Like, right now. I need to do some healing now. There we go. Let's see how much HP Gil has, so we can, uh, Get an idea if we have a chance or not. We can use a, uh... Where is it at? Analysis ball. Yeah. Oh, we have a chance, but it's gonna be a little difficult. Yeah. We'll take a lot of healing items, too, so... Yeah. Yeah. Wow, okay. Let's use a healing item and let's keep them going. I mean, he's not hard, he has a lot of, uh, this has a lot of, he hits hard. And, uh, he yeah, has a lot of HP, so, I mean, if you just keep yourself healed up, like I'm doing now, it shouldn't be that much of a problem. And he, that freezing attack is kind of annoying, too. Alright. I might have to split this up into a couple of videos. Oh, oh, doesn't matter anyway. We're not even going to worry about Gil. We can probably do this without Gil. It's just going to be a little bit more difficult, but... Alright, so what we're going to do here is do a quick heal on Jack. And let's start heading toward Algadar's castle. First things first, we need to head to the Adian region. So we're getting close to Radiata Gate, but we, we're getting close to Radiata, but we can never enter Radiata, so. And now it's just here, but it's going to go through the Adian region to the Septum region. We got some new enemies up in here, too. Looks like some guards and stuff. Because, you know, Jack's considered a, crater, a traitor and everything now. Looks like we got some guards and stuff we have to go against now. So there's going to be some new enemies up in here. <laughs> But again, they're not too hard either, so. Especially with Jack, that new weapon I equipped on Jack. But there's more of way powerful moves. It's not going to be that hard. And we got Jack up to 34 and Romeri up to level 30. So this is nice. So we just go through the Adian region to the Septum region. So we just go right here through Nuevo Village. Yeah, if you notice, some of these people are very familiar. Alright, through the Adian region. To the Septum region. Which should be this way. Yep. So we're going to go over here to the Septum region. And we'll go past the Septum cave. Remember we went in that Septum cave? We'll pass, we'll pass the Septum cave. And uh, at the second intersection past the Septum cave. The first intersection past the Septum cave. We'll head through and it would just lead us right to Algadar's castle, so. So just defeat all these little uh, guards real quick. I can say it's not going to be no problem though because way, way, way stronger than even if, even if we're outnumbered like 10 to 1 like we are right now. 
they're not going to be much of a problem. Alright. Now we've got these heavy guards to worry about, which is still going to be no problem. Boom! There we go. Easy peasy. We get a lot of experience from them though, so it might be worth to fight a few of them because we're getting like 3,500 uh, experience for each battle. So it might be worth fighting some of them, so. But okay, now we get to the Septum region. Right here, you'll see an intersection. We'll just keep going past the first intersection. Now, now that we're, pa uh, we're past the first interception, right here, we'll pass up the Septum Cave right here. And when we get to the second interception, We'll head north, here. And this, uh, we haven't been this way yet initially, this right to uh, Algadar's castle. Got a long path to take here, so we'll just keep on going. None of those enemies are too hard, it's just not really worth my time. Now here we'll just continue heading, hold up. Yeah, here we'll just continue heading this way. And we just, now we just should have a straight shot all the way. Oh, we got a, we got a, uh, Smilodon in this battle. But, even then the Smilodon shouldn't be too much of a problem. A little bit of a harder enemy to see. Remember, oh, remember back in the day, the Smilodons used to be so hard, they're not so hard anymore now, are they? A couple of hits and they're down. Alright. Yeah, here we're just gonna go, we just got a straight path all the way to uh, Smilodon Castle. So it shouldn't be too much more of a... Let's uh, change uh, this up a little bit. Skull Bash, Half Slash, and now we got Skull Bash, Half Slash, and we got add, we can add Triple Slice now to it, so let's do that. Alright, so here we're just heading to the left. We got a long, long path to take, and eventually when we get to the end of this path, we'll see a cave and a door, and that's Algadar's castle, so we really don't have too much further to go. And here we get an analysis ball. Right here. And welcome to Algandar's castle. All right, so here we are. This is one creepy castle. It's been a while since uh, it's been still with the curse for a long, long time. All right, so now we can finally enter the castle, and here we are, guys. Welcome to Algandar's castle. So here we're going to be, well, we got some enemies we can fight, but we need to go to this door. And there should be a treasure chest in here, but we'll fight it. We'll fight this enemy just to show you what some of the enemies are going to be like. There's a bunch of um, undead, creepy enemies. So this is going to be, and the enemies are quite hard in this area. They hit really, really hard as you can see. They're hitting me. Quite difficult. So, all we got left really is. Let's just get rid of There we go. And we got this. And there we go. There should be a treasure chest in here. And Ridley got the last stack that time. I really like Ridley's uh, new uh, armor and stuff. There we go. We get a lucky charm. Let's, uh. Uh, we can't change any of that. But the only, the only thing, the only things we can change equipment-wise is uh. Now here we just take this central door right here and it leads us further into the castle. Here we are. We get another cutscene. 
And there was a king, he must have a lot of power. Yes, legend has it, he can even control natural phenomena. I mean, he can make it rain one minute and sunny the next. Well, it's only a legend. I'm not sure if he can really have done that. Although the elf king had powers closely connected with nature. The was then very balanced in him. The king must have been very strong. So you're saying, what? The elves lost their power because of the humans creating imbalance in the world? I didn't mean it like that. It's okay. Come on, let's go. Alright, so we get to go further into Avandar's castle. Let's just do a quick healing on Jack. There we go. And let's continue on. And right into the next room. And right into a battery. Well, luckily, we got a couple of these little enemies, but as you know, they're not terribly difficult. They just have a lot of HP, but they're still not terribly difficult. With just a couple little hits, and there we go. Let's just get rid of this one real quick. We got another person. Oh, uh, Mikey's lightning based, so we got another person that's lightning based, so that's cool. And we got Mikey up to level 28. Alright. So down here, we need to take this door. And another cutscene. We'll extend through here. How far do we have to go? There should be a stone monument in the deepest room of the castle. Should. I've deciphered the ancient documents and some lines are incomprehensible. Hmm, so you're smarter, you look. Well, thanks. Hee <laughs> hee. So we gotta find a stone monument. And that, uh, monster was glitched out. <laughs> Alright, so now we got... Let's just get rid of these real quick. That's that. With all, with all of us though, this ain't gonna be no problem. There we go. And boom. There we go. Oh, I didn't realize it was another enemy. And Mikey gets the last hit though. Alright, so let's see. We got a little bit of time. I'm probably gonna have to divide this up into two videos, so. God, I'm gonna have to, uh. Um, do this and then the boss battle in the net. Yes, I have, to, I have to probably figure because it's a new area, we're gonna have a boss battle. So you're gonna have to, probably gonna have to do this and then the boss battle in the next video, so it's gonna be a couple of videos in Algonar's castle. I don't want to make these videos too long, so. There we go. And easy as possible. Alright, All right. And one defense for Mikey goes up to two. Alright. So here, we go down the stairs right here to another door. There should be another. Should be another hallway, and then take the. Uh, there should be a ladder in here somewhere. Oh, here we are. Yeah, there should be a ladder in this room right here. Let's go down this ladder. And we're going to end it here, guys. And when we come back, we're going to finish up Albendar's castle. And uh, take care of a few on and end stuff and uh, see what we need to do next. So uh, we'll see you next time on Let's Play Radiata Stories. This is DKS3A, the crazy gamer.